Hey there guys, this is uh, Dan Clark uh, with uh, Life After Religion. I'm out here in Sedona, Arizona, and I just wanted to take you on a tour of a former Kingdom Hall. This is a former Kingdom Hall that was bought and paid for by Jehovah's Witnesses that was sold to this church. And I just want to show you the hypocrisy and the the craziness of the governing body. I mean, they could care less who they sell to. I mean, they, they told us that, you know, this was Babylon the Great, the world empire of false religion. They told us that Jehovah's already executed judgment on Babylon the Great. And they sold to these guys. They took their money. They housed them in this church. Let's take a look. You won't believe it. This is a spiritual center, they call it. Jehovah's Witnesses, no consciousness. Take a look. Here's the entrance to the former Kingdom Hall. There's a little goddess outside. Watchtower sold this to these people. Let's take a look. Here's a little peephole. Yeah, so I turn on all four. And as soon as I come in, I just turn on those yeah. of those systems. It's pretty, I mean, literally, when you saw it, it, it's about 60 seconds, and everything's on. Yeah, okay. This dude is, this is the remote you're holding. This remote, okay. this is why that accidentally got shut off, because this runs uh, the camera here. This is the book room. Okay, and then that's controlled from the back room. It's controlled by both of us. Okay. So, see the camera? You see that came on? Yeah. So that's on. And we just, and we just yeah. 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 yeah, now everything's on except the computer. Um, huh. So I just turn that on and take a minute apart. This part is what she's going to show you. Okay. Um, you see this built in? This is the entryway. This is the way you come into yeah. the Kingdom Hall. It used to be Kingdom Hall. Yeah, so it's like you, you don't have to think about it, work from okay. it, so you can if you want to. Okay. I'm going to leave this here if you need a reminder. Okay. Yeah, so that's the entryway. Yeah, and that's where they used to come in, park. This is where they used to come in, park. This is the front, all the saints, statues. All right, everybody, that was the tour. And uh, me and Angela just Hi wanted guys. to start uh, talk a little bit about it, um, about the tour we made and the purchase that this church made uh, for Watchtower. We just want to let you know that, you know, we don't really care um, what church bought what from Watchtower, whether it's a, this church of Sedona, Catholic church, Baptist church. It really doesn't matter because, you know, a lot of people leave Jehovah's Witnesses and they go find a church and they go find a place that serves them. So, so the purpose of this video isn't to say that Jehovah's Witnesses sold a church to a metaphysical church. The purpose of this video is to show the hypocrisy of the organization, of the Watchtower organization. I mean, you know, think about it. We were not allowed to set a foot inside of a church. 
even if it was our father's funeral. I mean, think about that. Your dad died, and, and he's going to have a funeral in this church. You wouldn't be allowed to set a foot in there. You couldn't sit in there for 30 minutes or 40 minutes while they did a service for your father or a wedding. And, uh, and yet, governing body, without any consciousness whatsoever, sells it. Sells this church to a church. They actually housed this church in Jehovah's house. And I can't help but think what the brothers would think, you know, that put money into this church, that put maybe 100,000, 25,000, the people that paid on this church, and then governing body, you know, took it back and then sold it, and, and sold it, and, and you know, where did the money go? And it was devoted, this was devoted to, to, to Jehovah, right? Is that how? Yeah, they, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they dedicate these buildings to Jehovah. Maybe somebody built this building. Maybe the witnesses built this building. But the fact of the matter is, it shows that the governing body is all about the money. They don't care who, who occupies this building, whether it's another church. They care, they care whether or not we go into it and we maybe learn something or hear a good lecture or something like that. That's really why they don't want us in there. They don't want us hearing anything. They don't want us learning anything because you can learn something anywhere. There's lots of churches that have good messages and good things. So the walkthrough wasn't to show you, yet, you know, look at this, this metaphysical church that Jehovah's Witnesses sold to these people and housed these people in. It was just that they could care less. It's about the money. They could care less. Think about that. But yet, again, they don't want us in there for any reason. Not even for a minute. The most sacred time of your life, your daughter's getting married, your, your son's getting married, your dad or mom or uncle died. We can't go in there, but watch car can do whatever they want. It just shows a slave is not greater than its master. The master, that's why we were called good-for-nothing slaves, and that's why Watchtower does what it does. It does whatever Watchtower wants it to do, and this is evidence. Just take one more look at this church. Go ahead, Angela. You know, and I just want to say that, you know, again, that hard-earned sweat equity that everybody in the neighborhood put together, believing that they they owned this together, they all done this together, and it was Jehovah's a, a dedicated house. to Jehovah's, Jehovah's house, and just that joy that they had in that feeling and being told that this is your house this is je dedicated to Jehovah that belongs to all of us and then they go and they sell it and it, whose money who, who's who's whose house is this it's God's but you guys are the ones that put it into it, it was you were told that it was yours and then it was sold against your will against your knowledge against your getting anything for it without any input again because of being a slave and not having any right no voice and, no and, nothing and then where did that money go that that bothers nobody me knows. nobody knows and um that should bother that should bother us it should this is wrong and um again and this is a thing that they did that was worldly selling it to a worldly a dedicated building to in their way of looking at it a worldly bunch of people that that are Babylon the Great and World Empire of False Religions. And they go and they sell God's dedicated building. I'm just saying it from their point of view, okay? Because this is how they, they put it in our minds. And then in the end, they go and do the very thing that is like beyond what they told us not to do, which is don't go in a, a worldly building. We, we can't even go in this building now if we wanted to. Yet it was dedicated to Jehovah, yet we're not allowed to set foot into this building. Yeah, it's just I don't know yeah. craziness. Yeah. yeah, this is the disgusting thing that causes desolation. This is the harlot that rides on the back of the beast. You remember all those Watchtower articles, the harlot and Jehovah's executed judgment on them, and they're going to be wiped off the face of the earth. Well, that's what we were taught, but yet Jehovah's Witnesses seems like it's okay to take their money, the the money that that they say that uh, the blood of the prophets, you know, the blood of the saints that. Uh, that uh, harlot has taken. Uh, that's what they called these churches. You know how they called all the churches outside of Jehovah's organization, the world empire of Babylon the Great. So here it is, here it is one more time. And they're having a garage sale, okay, on Saturday. So that's why all the furniture plants and whatnot, but they did paint it purple and uh, it's different. That's for sure, different roof. So, we just want to say, you know, get out from Babylon the Great Watchtower, you know? <laughs> it takes one to know one. I mean, they're hypocrites. They're hypocrites. This is hypocritical. If, you, if we can't see that, you guys, we're, we're being blind. Yeah. We're choosing to be blind. And, and that's the point of this whole thing is, is that when you see what you see, 
we got to admit that it is what it is instead of just being blind and saying no you know I'm sure they have a good reason I'm sure that Jehovah you know has appointed these people to make these decisions and, you know we just kind of figure out a way to make it right somehow to justify it yeah. it shouldn't be justified no. And they're doing this all over the place. All over all the place. All over the place. All over. Nationwide. Worldwide. So I just want to say, like I always say, get out from amongst them. Quit following men, you know. Um, the Bible says, as you know, you've heard it in the witnesses, don't put your trust in nobles nor the sons of earthling men whom no salvation belongs. Get out from amongst them. And the reason you want to get out is because it says you're going to share. Share. And, and their destruction. You're going to share in their wrongdoings. So I can't imagine being a brother who put a lot of money into this church. And then the society says, we'll take it from here and sells it to a new age church or whatever church. It doesn't matter. But the point of it is they did what they wanted with it. Like Angela said, a lot of sweat equity went into this. And here it is. Here it is. Painted purple. Um, you know, it's just it, ridiculous. It, yeah, it, it is. And of course, again, you're not allowed to go into such a building as this even now. Right, guys? And so, I, I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Yep. It just seems so crazy hypocritical. That's all I got to say about it. Yep. You know. So, we'll just end it right there, guys. Thanks for listening. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to the page, subscribe to the page. Life After Religion. And we'll have lots more videos coming to show what's really going on with Watchtower and what they're doing. And what they think they can do. And, and that they don't care what they're doing. They, they do whatever they want to do. Uh, right or wrong, they make up the rules as they go. Because we're the slave class, and and they're the, the you yeah, know, they're the governing to... body. They're the anointed remnant. They're the special ones, and we're the good for nothing slaves. So this is what they do right here. All right, that's it, guys. Right. Thanks Thank so much. You.